Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian, I'm a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and this week I'm reacting to songs from Value Select and Jazz Emu, who are both on tour right now. Uh, I'm reacting to both the original and the 2020 remake of Hit Me With Your Car by Value Select, and then I'm also reacting to Dear English Language by Jazz Emu. Uh, I got the chance to see uh, their tour last week. Here's a picture of me with uh, Value Select. I wish I'd gotten a picture with Jazz Emu, but I wasn't thinking of it at the time. It's an amazing show. Uh, I have been doing comedy music for 15 years. I have never seen a comedy music show quite like this one. Uh, they both do an amazing job. They both put on an incredible show. If it's coming to your town, check it out. Uh, hopefully the tour will still be going by the time the video, this video comes out. If not, see them on the next one, and be sad that you missed this one. Uh, also, real quick announcement, uh, I have a merch store now. Uh, it's at Spreadshop, uh, link in the description or linked at the end of the video. You can get yourself some Insane Ian swag if that tickles your fancy. We've got hats, we've got t-shirts. We've got stickers, we've got all sorts of things. Bags and, and, and knit caps and hoodies and yeah, all sorts of stuff emblazoned with my name and logos. Uh, we got stuff like the Castlevanian logo here, we've got uh, my Run DMC parody logo, we've got a superhero logo that's usually over in the bottom corner on these videos, and all sorts of other good fun stuff like that. So uh, yeah. Link in the description below or at the end of the video. Uh, and of course, please, with all these videos, like, share, comment, subscribe, get more eyes on them, help feed that algorithm. And if you really want to help out the channel, consider supporting me on Patreon at patreon.com slash where you get to see these videos early, get my music early, and all sorts of other cool stuff. Um, you know, spend money if you want. You don't need to, but it does help out the channel. Helps me making these videos, helps me make more videos, and bigger music videos and stuff like that. But anyway, enough of that razzle-dazzle salesmanship. Let's check out Hit Me With Your Car by Value Select. This is a song I saw him perform on the, the tour, but uh, I've not seen either of these videos, and both versions are different because the first song, uh, the first version of it is only a minute long, and the second one is a bit longer. So, Checking out both, for reasons. Oh, and by the way, if you're new here, I do pause a lot. That's all I'm going to say. Now let's actually get into the video. There's links into the description about all the separations, chapters, if you will. Time codes. Walking home last night through busy streets. Hey, Chicago. That's where I saw value select. That's the bean. You can get pictures of the bean from my album cover on t-shirts. I'm sorry, that's the last time I'm bringing it up. Uh, yeah, no, that's... The person who designed it doesn't want you to call it the bean, but that person sucks, so we call it the bean. Um, yeah. Uh, very much uh, all green screen in these early videos. Uh, actually, I think in all his videos, <laughs> from what I understand. It's a lot of green screen. No problem with that. I love that. You, you, you go with what works. Can't handle the heat of the city. To my surprise, a car comes rushing by. I stop to think if only it had hit me. Living in the city, that is very much a true statement. I learned when I was working in New York as a kid, the phrase, hit me, I need the money. I was 13 years old working in an off-Broadway show. And uh, crossing the street with no fear uh, in busy New York streets was, uh, was how I was raised. Uh, yeah, hit me. I need the money. And that's the impetus of this entire song, I'm pretty sure. But I like that he's used Chicago for this. The bridges and the bean. and Yeah, it's great. This seems so subdued. This seems like 
so mellow in his presentation of it. He's just hands in pockets, just straight singing it. It's very, like, very different from the performer that I, I saw the other day. This is, this is just such a kind of laid-back version. Some real, like, old-school 90s R&B vibes in this song. The slow push-in, but also just the general snap beat. And, and just the whole falsetto hit in the, in the vocals. I'm digging it. Again, though, this is very more laid-back. I bought the CD that he had at the show that had... Uh, a bunch of songs just strung together as a mixtape. Uh, and the newer version of I This, I believe, is on that. And it's a lot faster tempoed and a lot more upbeat uh, rather than this slow jam version that we've got going on here. Girl, you'd be my shining star If you fucking break my leg With your motherfucking car <laughs> Just the very most subtle line. And that's it. That's that's the end of that song. It's only a minute, you know. A little snippet of a song. Put them in bite size. Keep them wanting more. Well, years later, he 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 fulfilled that with the next version. Since there's only text here, for some reason, I suddenly have captions up on this one. Since there's only text here, this is a good part to put the credits. So captions by that person, Mystery Thirteen O Seven. In the cruel heart of Metropolis, man exits work and enters the world. Drunk on moonlight, he slips into purple rev reverie. Emerald fantasies bejewel his mind and enrapture his soul. Fantasies, not mantises. A stumble of the tongue. Returning to reality, to reality, he looks and wonders, is this all there is? higher. See? Much, much faster tempo on this. Picked up the pace, picked up the tempo, picked up the beat. It's a little more fervent. It's uh, not quite the slow jam that the last one was. And also, the editing has picked up a lot. Uh, the only shot that really changed in the previous video was the background. It was just the one shot of him pushing in. Occasionally the two clones would come up on the side facing, which was, again, very 90s video reminiscent, but it was still not a lot of change in what's happening. But still, they in this one, it's such a drastic change with the cutting away, and and it's more dynamic, just not just in sound, but in presentation. And uh, obviously that comes when you, uh, when you step up over the years and learn more production skills and everything. Uh, the 20, did I say 2022 earlier? I meant 2020. Uh, but yes, a uh, newer version uh, of this song. It's, you know, this is what happens when you've been doing things for a while. You learn new tricks and you, you build it up. You look at stuff from my first music video to the music videos that I do now, and there's definitely a lot of... of learning that has happened between them. So, you know, you, 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 you gotta respect the hustle, you know? They've, they've taken what they know and they've applied it more and they've learned new camera tricks and it's just become more entertaining to watch just because of that. Um, and it's important, again, I, I think, in comedy music to keep things moving, too. Because um, it's supposed to be funny. Keeping things moving and dynamic and keeping your eyeballs entertained while your ears are listening to the humorous lyrics, having there also be humorous images is still good. And the way this is cut, kind of rapid, it's a goofy thing that he's singing about, so kind of treating it pseudo-seriously in the edit makes it inherently funny. Gonna be waxing philosophical about craft. Occasionally I do that here.
through busy streets. Still with the the mirror reflection, like the the you've got the static shot of him singing off into the distance, but then there's like the superimposed larger version of it facing him. I've done that in my videos too. It's just it's it's a old school effect that's so cheesy and fun to do. I love it. Can't handle the heat of the city. To my surprise, the car comes rushing by. I stop to think if only it hit me. Whoa! Gotta love the costume change on the spin. Some Wonder Woman action there. Hells yes. That was awesome. Wore an outfit very similar to that uh, on the concert. <laughs> and there he is on the green screen. <laughs> in front of in front of a green screen hospital. That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Do I really have to caption this part? It's, it's, <laughs> that's really kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> when when you acknowledge that you're filming on green screen by having the illusion pop away, easy gag, but always always a good gag. It's just it's just the acknowledgement of yes, we know we're filming on green screen. You know we're filming on green screen. Here's a little wink to the camera about it, and then we move on. Uh, it's still good. I I love crap like that. <laughs> Just getting the, the little chop and screw there. Just just scatting over the chop and screw of the beat. That's great. Like, and they did the captions for it, which is good on you, mystery. <laughs> The rhythm that he sings that line in is really reminiscent to my ear of songs by Flight of the Concords. Um, and just, I, I, listening to his songs in concert and on the CD, I get a very big Flight of the Concords influence and a very big Lonely Island influence in a lot of his work. Uh, some songs that are directly aping uh, the style of particular Lonely Island and, and Flight of the Concord songs, and 100% respect that because, you know, they're great bands, they're great influences, um, uh, but, you know, it's, it's definitely something that you can hear if you're familiar with their work. <laughs> this wasn't part of the deal. Oh no. He looked f HP Dumman. He looked for a shortcut and paid the ultimate price. And uh yeah, here <laughs> and we got a picture of the car on it even though he was hit by a bus. Sure, continuity. I do like the ghost image standing by it looking like why did I do this? Going off with the, sh the shirt off. Can't buy a new life if you're dead. That's a nice touch. To bring in the old video on that. And he's in front of it, granted, but blocking the original lyrics that were on it, but uh, that's... That's a nice touch to bring that in right at the end when the beat drops out and has the harmony of his other versions on that. That's a, that's a really nice touch. Perfect! Platinum Age. I, I hear that a lot of the different years for Value Select's channel, he calls them different ages. So, has a Patreon, go support them. Check out their channel. And like a fighting game, game sure. Over. And yeah. now it's Dear English Language by Jazz Emu, which again, I heard this song in concert uh, during the tour. 
Um, but uh, I don't think I've quite seen the video for it, unless this is the video that he was playing behind him. Um, some of the videos that he was playing behind him was just, like, some of the text, just some of the lyrics so you could understand the words, but he removed himself from the videos if he's in them in the YouTube version. Uh, still, amazing performance uh, as the opening act. Uh, both of them just really, really impressed me. Um, and now, here's this, Dear English Language. English language. I love dissections of the weird English language. English language has English language. I said language again. What is what is language? Sorry, the new tongue. I I lost it in the war and had it replaced. Uh, I love dissections of, of English language and because the rules that we have, even for the English language, they don't they're not consistent at all. And this song dissects that, and I love that. I like, stand-up comics for years have done that. Carlin's talked about it, frickin' Gallagher. Everybody's talked about the weird intricacies of, like, why is it this way one time and not this way the next? I love that. I love that, and putting it into the song... I, I've done a song about language myself. I have a song called Watch Your Language, which is specifically about the written language on Twitter, and, you know, how NetSpeak has kind of abbreviated things, and because you're used to hearing it, not used to seeing it spelled, you're spelling it differently. So, uh, you know, I, I enjoy dissections of language. Uh, MC Front a lot has tongue clucking grammarian. Uh, Schaefer the Dark Lord has the way you talk. Give me, give me language songs. I love them. Absolutely love them. That's why I chose this one this week, I think. Because I heard it and I loved it and just wanted to react to the video. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just pronounced differently with the same ending. I love it. I love it. So confused. <laughs> language. Not language. Just, just beautiful. I love it. Oh no, one K. You knew of its two. Ah, uh, so good. <laughs> wait, wait. I'll have the fish away, way and chips away, way. <laughs> They're silent, it's fine. In the packet of bra and cocktail crisps. Yes, the dollar sign is silent. <laughs> hyphen. No, that's pronounced Urban. English and Juwaji. English and Juwaji. And Juwaji. Push it through the same. Push it through the same. Why is the plural of mouse mice? But we can't live in some in the cash highs. Yeah, wouldn't be. Moose have a plural too, but no, the plural of moose is moose. Brian Regan does an amazing language bit. You know, what's the plural of ox? Oxen. Brian, what's the plural of box? Boxen. Got me a boxen of donuts. How how many moose are there? Mises. Many much moosen. Moosen. Because of the end of the boxen, it's great. Battery's dying. Let's see if we can finish. Man's laughter. <laughs> Instead of manslaughter, man's laughter. That's how it's spelled. Get it? I'm sorry, I'm explaining jokes. It's really quite simple, but it's brilliant. Sweet Jesus. <laughs> yeah, trying to pronounce French, I've always said, and I, I saw this online, but I agree with it, 
In French, if it has 11 letters, you pronounce seven of them. In Germany, if it has 15 letters, you pronounce every single letter. But yeah, French, you know, they only pronounce maybe two-thirds of the letters in the word. I live in a place in Chicago, in, in Illinois, Chicago adjacent, called Des Plaines. They pronounce it here as Des Plaines. If it was French, it would be De Plain. Because you don't... Because of what I just said. Anyway, that was that song. Really dig it. Uh, it's very simple video, it's just him popping up, the words on the screen, if you're doing a song about language, the words on the screen are important, so it's good to have that. These songs are great. Check these out in the video, in the description below. Check these videos out in the description below. I knew what I was trying to say. And go uh, show Jazz Emu and Value Select some support, either by visiting their channel and supporting their Patreon, or visiting them on tour, or both. And also, maybe check out my stuff, like, share, comment, subscribe, patreon.com slash insaneian, and also the merch channel in the link and at the end of the video. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Thanks very much, everybody. Lately I've been hating how I always seem to find Your abusive use of language drives me out of my mind It's not so much the stuff you say or even how you talk But how you write your words inside the little Twitter box I understand you've only got 140 characters It's not just your spelling, it's over half America's Where do I start? Well, what can I say? It bothers me when you switch